This is just a really quick review of the Tone Dexter by Audio Sprockets. I won't go into the rest of the stuff on the pedal board just yet, and I'll do that in other videos. I'm using my um, Beauregard, Mario Beauregard uh, OM. It's Brazilian rosewood back and sides, and uh, already you can hear the feedback coming out of this, and I'll show you why. It's because the Tone Dexter is bypassed. I'm also using a K and K Mini, okay, for the pickup. That's it. No stereo pickup, nothing, and no sound hole pickup. That's it. Um, so, so here's what it sounds like. Uh, I'm gonna pull this output level down just a bit, just so I don't get the feedback, okay? And then I'll explain what's going on. feedback, all sorts of crazy things going on. I'm going through a Henriksen bud uh, with an extension cabinet. So I've got two of those going in a relatively small room, but it is treated. And, uh, and so we have some terrible feedback going on. Uh, this um, Tone Dexter, if you go to the setting that I have I'm programmed on here, and I can bring my output up so those mids can come through now it won't be so woofy but I will warn you I do play with a lot of bass That sounds really good. Now let me tell you what's going on. Okay, uh, the 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 tone dexter is a really simple pre because it only has bass and treble. I forget what frequencies those uh, the bass and treble are basically set to and what you can cut out and everything. But it's relatively simple, right? I just have it boosted just slightly on both of those. I have the notch filter completely off because I don't need it. And I, again, I'm in a small room and you can tell that's pretty loud and I'm not using the notch filter. The character is a really cool knob where it sets it in three different positions. Character two sounds more like the mic type sound. It brings in sort of that hollowness sound you know, that uh, you would hear from an acoustic guitar, but I'm not a really huge fan of that. Here's here's character one. This is, this is with the mic, a little bit less of the mic, I guess, the character of the mic. You still hear that sort of hollowy sound to me, which is cool, but it sounds more like a mic inside of a guitar, which I'm not too huge of a fan of. And maybe I'm using it incorrectly. Maybe I'm just dumb and don't know what to do with it yet. I've only had this a couple of weeks, but I like this sound. It just sounds really nice. You're not... You're getting sort of a pickup-y sound, but it still sounds like a mic, okay? And I really like that. Of course, you have a pickup trim level up here, and you have the output level over here. We have the wave map. Now, what is that? Okay, the way, oh, by the way, you also have a boost here, and you can kick that on for solos or whatever. I'd never use that. And uh, another cool thing is you just click this, and you have a tuner. So, um, as you can see, I'm out of tune. But, so it's a good tuner. I, I really liked it. I still use my headstock tuner um, on this, but, you know. Okay, I'm tuned to uh, uh, Dadgad for reference. Okay, now here's the big thing with this. What it does is it takes this acoustic image of your guitar, of your specific guitar. Now, I found that the acoustic image from both of my guitars, I have a Beneteau uh, OM, 
that's a little bit of a shallower body and my Beauregard OM, both of them sound great with the same acoustic image. One of the big things I learned is that <clears throat> you're going to need a very specific mic to do this. I, they say that you will not need, that you will need like a small diaphragm condenser. They say, well, you know, you can use a large diaphragm. It's probably not going to get you that good of results. And they're totally right. Uh, it's real finicky. I tried a couple. I have a Charter Oaks large diaphragm, and uh, and it just it's a great mic for recording albums and not for doing this. So I really suggest, okay, the SM81, sure SM81. Okay, you can get that. I picked this up on eBay uh, for a couple hundred bucks used. Okay, now here's the thing. You're going to say, well, I'm going to get this acoustic image. You record it into, into the, uh, the Tone Dexter, and I can show you how that works as well. Uh, but there are many tutorials on that, so I'd say just go to the Tone Dexter site and just do that. It takes a few seconds. Okay, but I would say go ahead and get a good condenser mic with this because uh, that makes all the difference in the world, I found. It is very... Uh, finicky about where you place the mic, how close you place it. I placed it about six inches, as as they say, sort of in the in the manual, six inches from the front of the guitar, from the sound hole. Like if you, it, it's just right here. It's kind of weird. I even aimed it towards the sound hole, which is a big no-no. But I, I positioned it down below the sound hole, so aiming towards the, basically right here on the body and I got a really good sound for me I mean and that's just me but again I would recommend the Shure SM81 I would recommend the Tone Dexter you can get them at Dream Guitars or going to be available other places I'm powering it with uh, an uh, what is that a Strymon Ohi which I highly recommend five uh, five outputs there and uh, it's great clean power and it's light and you can move it um, also on the back here you have a couple of knobs, one's an XLR input and that controls, uh, let's see, the input there I believe, no it's a headphones control and a boost gain control. So and I have a uh, effects loop right here that I have my um, delay and reverb going into that. If you'd like to know more about that I will do a review on that shortly. Thanks for watching.